we are using the IDA Cloud 14 and for able to find the center we fold it twice like this as you can see I'm already marked the middle with a pencil to secure where the middle was and here was the middle of this IDA 14 canvas now find the center of the pattern as this pattern we can see the red lines on it that indicate where the middle was or or the other pattern like this indicated by this arrow the elephant focus here and in the side need to focus here here and here in the side okay there that indicate where the center is now grab the thread which the pattern indicates to be used okay pattern or let me say all of my materials or threads are going to be a DMC product always use the DMC and look what thread should be used to go first but here I will use the center that indicates zero and that was seven one two in the whole ten whole ten make sure that the exact color number thread or hole that indicate in per sets in the near future I will be um, creating sets for our shop using a color number instead of this uh, whole number for you to able not to replace or switch those threads and here here's the DMC thread I'm using and stretch it out in all um, we're using it in the middle which the pattern indicate what color or thread are we going to use you all can see in one meter length there was a uh, six strands of excuse me here we go six strands of thread um where are using IDA 14 so I'm pulling out uh, two strands for IDA 14 because the size of its hole is small by using this method I'm looking for two strands that are connected together to be easy to be pulled with like this and just doing this we repeatedly doing this till the, the, the strand entangled to the specific thread or set of thread yeah just get separate of it sorry and now we are getting separate the two strands out of the six strands and one meter uh, one meter thread okay I just give you a, a tip out of it after you get the two strand please back the thread on the hole the, that where you got the thread for the purpose that you didn't switch or mess up or dislocate or lose the thread now put the thread 
or the two strand we are getting in this kind of uh, needle. I forgot what size it is, but this is the desired size for either 14. And below, what is the size number? And by doing this, I'm using the threader to put the thread on the needle easily doing this. After you put the thread on the needle, pinch it in the middle and go to the back and make a secure the thread that it will not loose. In this case, I'm not using other regular method. I'm threading it between the two fiber to secure that the thread wouldn't lose if we are going to laundry it till we frame it. Sometimes I, I go to uh, at least f four, four to three, three to four rather, three to four to five, depend to the project that I'm making to, just to secure that the thread wouldn't easily loosen up to this fabric. And be sure that you left at least one inch like this so it won't for the secure to the assurance that it would loosen up the thread would wouldn't loosen up to this fabric. And now you may start your Cross stitching by starting the middle. Others didn't take the middle first, but I suggest for the beginners that you should take to start with in the middle of the fabric.
and here we go we did our first crust in the cross beach fabric here it if you can see it was so very small and camouflage the pattern or the cloth this is my uh, markers the color pen the pencils and this embroidery cross stitch pen it was a washable pen that when you laundry your your eye cloth after it will erased sometimes I really use these pencils because this pen was so messy sometimes and As you can see here, there's a red line and I messed up with my work. I ended up like this area, gone wrong counting and this is the grading method I've been using at this moment. I'm just using this method for you to be able to know what are the tips and ways to have the proper way to have this um, cross stitching you can see I already marked the middle and we're doing back here back and here so what should be on the pattern should be on this area in the breeding and i'll be i'll be uploading on tiktok and youtube sharks for the update per grid and i'll do the separate video for this pattern and this pattern will be on my shop soon after i finalize the pattern and if it's great i just wanna wanna let you if you want this pattern or not just comment down below actually this is the first time i am using the idol cloth 14 and i have a poor eyesight so it's hard for me to do this kind of video that i'm using i14 because you usually I'm I'm using the Ida for uh, Ida 10 model always on my projects on my work and projects um, and previous kits I practiced I make a set of it for my designs and now I'm trying to put my design on these I don't I the 14 cloth so hard because the hole is so small but I like this kind of cloth because it's compact and small well in the previous video about the Ida cloth you see that the difference of the Ida 10 and the Ida 14 by looking at by the holes and the sizes of the exact cloth and when you do cross stitching I always want to challenge myself and it is because it's first time to have this out of 14 I wanted it to try even if my eyesight was poor and I'm mumbling I'm not at this moment, I record the video was I'm not mentally stable actually, but I tried. And one of my stress reliever was this cross stitch, and yeah, I hope you like this video. It, even if it's the lightning of this video is not clear, although my voiceover is not clear. But I hope so you like this video. And 
some someone in the comments told me that how to how to finish the cross teaching well on my side what what why um what do you call it? how do i start the cross stitch is the same to how do i end my cross stitch same after the the pattern was okay the thread was okay i already do the same thing with the how i started the stitch to end the stitch for the security of the thread do i do the old method that if looping around the cloth the thread will just clip at the end or the back side but for the safety purposes i do the the, the, the in the video that the thread will go through in the center of the the cloth because for the security purposes and I don't want to lose the thread in the cloth or the canvas here you can see the the thread that I were going to use or already been used and here I already made or teach the thread on that grid and another tip if you want to be beautiful and neat make sure that the back like this will be beautiful okay and this is what it looks like if you almost finish the grid already there you have it other people may start here until the down the end but in this video i was showing you that sometimes or mostly in the beginning starting this area will be difficult so i'm suggesting to start in the middle please write voice over the video because the audio was so destroyed or ruined creating a video out of this pattern and soon it will be released on my shop thanks for watching and god bless